hi everyone and welcome in the previous video we have covered the getting started card with orange pi rv2 single board computer we have flash ubuntu noble desktop gnome linux to sd card we have plugged that flash sd card on the back side of the orange pi rv2 single board computer and we have connected this orange pi rv2 single board computer with the 7 inch touchscreen from the electro okay to create our own mini pc but if you don't have this kind of screen and if you want to use this orange pi rv2 single board computer then how you can do that okay using server operating system instead of the desktop operating system so that thing we are going to cover in this video so we will flash server operating system inside the memory card and that memory card will plug into the orange pi rv2 board and then we will take the access of the uh, terminal of our orange pi rv2 board okay so let it start now here is the agenda for this video that getting started with the orange pi rv2 single board computer we are going to flash ubuntu noble server linux to the sd card okay we'll configure the usb debugging to control the terminal or to get the access of the terminal okay of the orange pi rv2 single board computer we will enable the ssh access and we'll set up the wi-fi connection so we can uh, access the terminal of orange pi rv2 over the local area network okay so here i have the 64 gb of sd card and here i have the sd card reader writer so we will uh, plug this sd card reader into our system okay so yeah now we will format the disk so we will use sd card formatter software and it's a e drive okay the size is 64 gb and the capacity is 58.24 gb and we are going to format it okay format is done now we will open the balena eacher software now here you can see balena eacher now once you open the Balena Eacher software, you have to select that which operating system or which image file you want to flash onto your SD card. So for that, you have to download the image first. Okay, so here I have provided the link. Okay, so you can open this link in the new tab and inside the Google Drive, you will have two options. Ubuntu Noble Server Linux and Ubuntu Noble Desktop Gnome Linux. So this is the one which we have covered in the previous video to create our own mini PC. And this is the one which we are going to use in this video to flash to our SD card, which I have already downloaded in my system. So operating system, Orange Pi RV2, Ubuntu, and here you can see Ubuntu Noble Server Linux 6.6.63 okay which is already downloaded in my system so this is the one which you have to download for this video okay for the server linux or you can say without any desktop environment so we are going to select that file so orange pi operating system orange pi rv2 ubuntu operating system server linux and we'll select this image file here okay now here you can see our sd card is already selected so we are going to keep it as it is and we'll just hit the flash button so here you can see the flashing is started now we will wait until the entire flashing is done and balena eacher validate our sd card and then we'll remove the sd card from here okay and then we'll plug it onto our orange pi rv board so let's wait until this process is done okay so our operating system is successfully flashed to our sd card now we will close the balena eacher software and we'll remove the uh, sd card reader we will remove the memory card from the sd card reader and we are going to plug that on the back side of our orange pi rv2 single board computer okay now what we'll do is we will connect this uh, usb to ttl converter with our orange pi rv2 single board computer now here you can see 
we have three pins okay ground rx and tx here you can see ground rx and this one ground rx and tx so we will connect our uh, usb to ttl converter with that three pin okay and then we'll plug the usb end to our system so let me connect okay so i have made the connection now ground of this usb to ttl converter will connect with the ground okay of this board rx of this usb to ttl converter will connect with the tx of this board and tx of this uh, usb to ttl converter will connect with the rx of this board okay so this is how you have to make the connection and then after you can plug that okay in our system okay you can see led is on means it is ready now what we have to do is we have to power on this orange by rv2 single board computer okay it is power on now i'm going to open the putty software here and i'm going to load the configuration of the orange by 4a and i'm going to save it as orange pi rv2 okay now we are going to load that now we will uh, select the com port and the speed now how to find the com port so you have to search for manage computer management in the start menu you have to go to the device manager and here you can see the com port so our usb to ttl converter is connected on the com 4 so that's why we have to use com4 in the putty software okay and uh, you have to select the speed 115200 and then you have to click on the open now what you can do is you can press the reset button here now we have pressed the reset button now we'll wait okay here you can see orange by rb2 login orange by automatic login and here you can see orange by rb2 terminal and the system load is 47 percentage of time two minute there is no ip address because we haven't connected to any network yet and here is the memory usage 11 percentage of 1.9 gb the cpu temperature and the usage of root directory four percentage out of 57 gb okay so this is how uh, it will start in the putty okay and you have to wait for a few minutes until this loads up now we are accessing the terminal of our orange by rv2 single board computer now let me clear the screen now let's check the free ram so free hyphen h and here you can see the total memory is around 2 gb okay because we have the uh, orange by rv2 variant of 2 gb and the free memory is 1.6 gb now let's check the storage so df hyphen th and here you can see the type the size the use the available memory the percentage of use and where it is mounted on now here you can see the root directory okay so total size is 57 gb okay and the available size is 55 gb out of 64 gb of my memory card now let's uh, check the cpu details so ls cpu and here you can see the architecture is risk v64 okay the byte order and other details now we have successfully flashed the operating system okay so we have successfully flashed the ubuntu noble server linux to the sd card we have successfully done the usb debugging okay so we have connected this usb to ttl converter with the three pin okay on the orange by rv2 single board computer and we have set up the usb debugging and we are able to access the terminal of our orange by rv2 board over the usb now it's time to connect this board with my wi-fi home wi-fi network so for that uh, we will go to the github okay 
and uh, here if you scroll down then here i have provided the example command to connect with any wi-fi using nmcli command so i have my uh, capgemini 4g wi-fi available but before that we will run this command to check available wi-fi networks so run and here you can see capgemini 4g okay and uh, yeah, Capgemini 4G is available, so we can connect to this Capgemini 4G as well as Capgemini 5G is available. So it is supporting both 2.4 gigahertz of network and the 5 gigahertz of network. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's connect with the 5G network. So we will copy this command, we'll paste it here, mm -hmm. and in the end, we'll change it to Capgemini 5G. Okay, now it is asking for the password, so we'll provide the password of our Wi Fi. So I have provided the password now let us check the okay now it is asking for the password of the orange pie so the default password for the orange pie is the orange pie so o r a n g e p i okay now what we can do is we can run this in the pseudo mode okay orange pie and then we'll provide the wi-fi password mn okay here you can see device wlan 0 successfully activated okay so if you get this kind of error okay it is asking for the password of orange pie then basically you just have to run this command in the pseudo mode and then it will be connected okay first it will ask for the pseudo password for the orange pie which is orange pie by default and then after you have to provide the password of your wi-fi network okay and then you will get the message like this then after uh, we can run the command if config and here you can see we have got the wireless interface IP address which we can use to get the SSH access so again I'm going to open the new command prompt here SSH orange pie okay and then uh, at the rate 192.168.1. IP address of my orange pie which is 1.5 okay then I'll press enter we'll type yes and password will be orange pie okay and here you go we are successfully logging to the ssh terminal of our orange pi rv2 single board computer and here you can see the ip address okay so this is how uh, you can set up the wi-fi using nmcli command okay this is the command to connect with any wi-fi and then after once you are connected with the wi-fi you can run the ifconfig command to get the ip address of your wi-fi interface if you are connected with the ethernet interface then you will have the ip address in this section okay this is the local interface and this is the ethernet interface and this is the wireless interface so we are connected with the wireless interface so that's why we have the ip address here okay and once you have the ip address you can use this ssh command to connect with your orange pi rv2 single board computer over the ssh now i can you know log off from this uh, putty terminal i can close it i can press ok now i can remove this cables okay still I'll be able to access my orange by rv2 single board computer terminal i can check the cpu details i can check the free memory okay or free space or free memory okay so everything is possible now uh, let's check the block ls block and here you can see we have only one block which is 58.2 gb which is our memory card if you have attached the emmc storage on the back side okay so here is a slot of the emmc storage okay so if you have attached the emmc storage here then uh, you will have another block available here for emmc storage okay so you can find that uh, emmc storage in the ls block command so i hope everything is clear and uh, it is also clear that how you can flash the operating system on the SD card, how you can getting started with the Orange Pi RV2 single board computer using USB 2 uh, TTL converter and how you can set up the USB debugging, how you can connect with the Wi-Fi and how you can get the access of the SSH terminal. Now, if you have any question or any doubt in this, then you can always ping me on Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp, anywhere. Also, you can uh, you know comment on this video. Otherwise, let's meet in the future videos. Till then, take care, goodbye, and thank you.